don't know if you ever listened to some people who really like sports, maybe two people that really love sports, just ch maybe chatting at lunchtime or, or maybe you know somebody in your family just loves watching sports and you always hear them sort of comparing people and comparing sports and who's better, who's that, but this guy this and this guy costs that much and all this kind of stuff. And it, it often devolves because it gets really into a passionate conversation because people really truly believe in a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and maybe many, many years ago, you would have found me doing the same thing. Uh, but then I, it, it just started getting, it started getting to the point where I realized like it, it, the more attention I'm paying to that, the less attention I'm paying to what I want to get out of, of life and what I want to get out of my goal. Um, and, and really what's, what that means and one sort of a, a sentence or a statement that really puts that together is, is something that Eric Thomas once said, if you can memorize all the stats of your favorite player, but you can't name me your stats, there's something wrong. You're, you're distracting yourself from your own goal. And by your own stats, you know, he talked about your finances. He talked about your fitness. He talked about, you know, things that where you're going in life, how close you are to your goals and that sort of thing. I think that was a valuable point that he made. And it's always something that's stuck with me since then because I, it, it, I really believed it beforehand and I believe it even more so. Now, it doesn't mean I don't get in, impassioned by, by sports. It doesn't mean I don't love watching soccer and the Euro Cup and my favorite team play hockey. It just got to a point where I didn't want to expend the energy to keep up with it. And I didn't want to invest so much energy in something I didn't have control over that I could so often get disappointed by. And that's an analogy for a lot of parts in our life. Like, what are you investing energy in that you can be so upset at, so disappointed by? Instead, apply that energy, apply that pressure, apply that emotion to something that counts, something that will have a return, something that means more to you and that could be your family that could be your job but i think for most people the thing that's left behind is their fitness it's their health it's the way their body performs so my argument is take time away from that and put it towards your health and that doesn't mean that you have to avoid that altogether i've said this before you can do things like watch the game while you're walking on the treadmill like install a little tv there and if you think about it, if you're walking the whole time the hockey game is on, that's 60 minutes at least that you're walking. You're going to tell me that that's not going to benefit you 60 minutes every time you would normally watch a hockey game? And I get it. There is some social aspect to it, and I will never take that away. But what I think really stood out to me was that if, if we're so invested in knowing so much about our favorite athlete or maybe it's something that we read in the tabloids or something else and we don't really know that much about ourselves we've not explored it we haven't really you know wrote out our goals that sort of thing then we're doing ourselves a disservice we're actually distracting ourselves instead of improving and empowering and progressing and evolving so what i'd like for you to take out of this is instead of putting energy in some of those those other things I want you to, to recapture that energy, recapture that time, recapture that, that drive, that passion, and reinvest it in yourself. Yeah.